Hey everybody, Moo here bringing you another quick preview video. This one is going to be for Princess Daisy and I'm super excited to see what her ability is going to look like and what it actually does. I mean, after I purchased the ducks, I felt like I threw away 3 million coin and then I did the video for Ninja Donald and he basically proved me wrong because that was a ridiculously good performance for a first game even. So once you actually get to play with him a little bit and get better using his ability, making use of that vertical clearing trick even though he is a zigzag type, you can definitely squeeze a lot more out of him and I'm kind of, I mean, you know, I shouldn't, I shouldn't, but my expectations for Princess Daisy have been elevated just a little bit, even though the ratio of very useful ducks to ducks that drain your resources and give you nothing back is still mostly heavily skewed towards the ones that drain your resources and give you nothing back. So let's jump straight into the gameplay video and see which of those categories Princess Daisy is going to fall under. Here we go. All right, guys, here we go. Princess Daisy coming right up. I'm super pumped to see what her ability looks like and what her skill is going to do. Here we go. I'm going to focus on the game a little bit until we get the first one going. And uh, we can chat a little bit about it after we see what it's all about. I mean, you know, Ninja Donald was so amazing. Let's see what she can do. Oh, that is amazing. No! No! Why did it have to be this? Oh, why? You guys know I'm not a big fan of the uh, Tsum Tsum that summon other type of Tsum. But here's the good thing about this. She's going to do a really good job for making long chains and also for making time bubbles, which is actually what I'm going to try to do for the rest of this game. And I have to say, it looks like she's going to be a little bit more consistent than... Elizabeth Swan, mostly because Elizabeth Swan kind of summons the prince a little bit randomly and Princess Daisy seems to do it across the middle of the screen. So you can get at least two 9 to 16 chains out of it. We got one time bubble so far. So really good actually. She's very capable for, again, making those long chains and going for time bubbles. And if you don't have Elizabeth Swan, and we do get this one sometime soon on the international server, that's definitely going to come in handy. There we go. We'll do a little bit more of the reset action here. Uh, there's one thing I noticed that is a little bit weak for her. The Donalds don't actually help her uh, recharge the ability. So I know I'm asking for a lot. If she would, like, if that was actually possible, she would be ridiculously good. But, you know, we, we can't have that because, uh, you know, only a Jedi Luke Cinderella and Maleficent Dragon uh, need to be that powerful. You know, we, we can't, we can't introduce other Tsum Tsum that compete. No, not even on the Japanese server. Uh, but, you know, my final thoughts on her pretty good in fact the things that i don't really like about this ability she kind of remedies a little bit because she just generates all of them in one giant clump across the screen and that makes it again really easy to make those long chains and just going for the shorter 9 to 16 chains to try to get the time bubbles which is really quite nice i mean there are other some that kind of localize their clusters in a circle in the middle and then it's just not as practical to make those chains because you have to do them in circular fashions and you're kind of depending on there being other mitesome on the perimeter so you can kind of make those chains a little bit easier. But in this case, I think this is a really refined version of that ability. And as a result, I think she's great. Now, the only thing that's left to do is to give us these new Tsum Tsum on the international servers, then we can be happy and a little less jealous. But that's going to do it for me for tonight. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. As always, I appreciate all your likes, your subs, and your viewership. And I'll see you guys next time.